new day begins here in Iragusa and we are just waiting for the bus to go all the way to Modica, which is another beautiful baroque town here in the region. Um, the bus stop is right in front of the hotel where we are staying. There is no clear time uh, on where the bus is going, but the lady who works at the hotel said that it should go in like 20, 10 minutes from now. So let's see. now here at the bus station of Ragusa and uh, we have to wait around 40 minutes for the bus to get here to take us to Modica. That's an advantage of having a car or having a driver's license which is not our case uh, because you can just easily go from town to town and it's super fast. In our case we just have to be dependent on public transport. The public transport here can be you know a little slow but it works and if you don't have a car you don't have anything to worry about because you can just get from A to B you just have to wait a little more but it's possible to move around Okay, we just arrived here in Modica. The temperature is actually pleasant uh, compared to how it was just <laughs> one hour ago in Ragusa. It was 36 degrees, intense. There is a nice breeze here, which is nice. We are now going to the Corso Umberto, which is the main street here. And it's a place that you're apparently supposed to not miss when you're here in Modica. As soon as we started wandering around through Modica, the first thing that caught our eyes was of course the architecture. And if you watched my other videos, you probably noticed by now that I'm a big fan of beautiful architecture. Everywhere you look in the city, you see stunning Baroque buildings, details and a lot of history. Modica is one of the Baroque cities of the Val di Noto of Sicily, and just like Ragusa, the city is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. If you plan a visit to Modica, you should start like we did at the Corso Umberto. From here, you can easily access some of the main shops, monuments and churches. Our first stop in the area was the Cathedral of San Pietro. The architecture of this church is so detailed that you could easily spend hours here if you'd want to. And right by the stairs, you're welcomed by these impressive statues of the 12 Apostles of the Bible. The interior of the church is also very impressive. It was renovated very recently, so everything looks like new. The frescoes have scenes from the Old and the New Testaments, there is beautiful sculptures, glassware, and one of the most impressive points in the interior is also the huge organ they have at the top. I think this church is a must visit when you're in the area. Ah, and by the way, if you're curious to know about our places to go in Sicily, I have an entire playlist here full of tips and things to do in this region of Italy. I'm gonna leave the link of the playlist up here so you can check the other videos as well. Modica is very famous for producing a very specific type of chocolate using ancient methods. But before we try the chocolate, let's get some local lunch. We just stopped here by this place called Puccio del Copo where they have deep fried seafood on a con. This smells so good, but since we are in holidays, we also ordered some cold white wine to go with it. Because of fish, you gotta swim. Exactly. <laughs> bon appetit! Bon appetit! Cheers! So what is the selection here? Oh, we have some calamari. I think they are my favorite. Mm. You, but they all have ice. Yeah, it's like a, like a real fish. And look at how much seafood is inside, like, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to finish all of them. Now for a little dessert break, we are gonna go to the Antica Doceria Bonagiuto, which was highly recommended by many of the guides that we checked before we came here. And this place is located in this beautiful alley with lots of plants everywhere. Let's check it out. Eat chocolate, lose weight. Lose up to 20 pounds in eight weeks. Okay. I'm up for the challenge. Also, we're super skinny at this. This is my diet from now on. 
We got ourselves some creamy cold chocolates, not hot chocolates because yeah, I'm not having hot chocolate with this weather. And we are here sitting by the stairs overlooking the alley. And right there it's the church we just visited a little earlier today. Mm. It's good? Delicious. Wow, oh my god, this looks so creamy and so dense also. But is it too strong? Mm -mm. It's perfect. Okay. It is um, like not too uh, bitter, but also not too sweet. Wow, really good. Mm. Excellent. This is one of the best hot chocolate, well, cold chocolates I've ever had in my life. Actually, this is the first cold chocolate I've ever had. And it's only 250 for each glasses of them, so... Okay? I <laughs> recommend. I recommend, yes, it's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. <laughs> and the chocolate from this place is made with a low temperature ancient methods that dates back to the Aztec tradition. This process was brought here to Modica in the 16th century by the conquistadores. So for now we had the cold chocolate which was amazing. Uh, we are gonna come back soon a little later to buy more some of the chocolate bars that they have here We don't want to walk around the city with the chocolate in our bags right now because it might melt in this heat But we are definitely coming back to take a few pieces back home. Oh look, it's the moon. Oh The heat is intense Another attraction you should not miss in Modica is the castle of San Pietro The castle is built inside of the city and it's a walking distance from the Corso Umberto at the entrance, you're greeted by a local guide who offers free tours inside of the castle, sharing a bit of the history of the place. But besides the history, from the top of the castle you can access a viewpoint where you can have a panoramic view of the entire city. We can see people on the bikes, passing by the cars. From here we can see the top of some of the churches as well. So lots of duomos everywhere. Guys, I love this color. It's like the bright green of the plants together with the beautiful colors of the flowers in contrast with the stone colors of the architecture. Makes a really nice combination. Did you know that Pinocchio is actually Italian? Like, even though Pinocchio is a very Italian name, I just never made two and two together. Never put two and two together. Same with, same with uh, Geppetto. Geppetto, yes. I wonder if he was from Sicily. Time to get a little chocolate. Yeah, uh, vanilla and cinnamon are our traditional flavors. Okay. And they are also the sweetest because here there's 50 percent chocolate and 50 sugar. Uh -huh. uh, here they have the flavors with 65 percent cocoa or 70, 80, 90 and 100 plain chocolate. Okay. Our chocolate is dark, we don't use milk and it's working with low temperature, so everything has a granny texture. Okay. So we got our chocolate, I'm very curious to see what it tastes like. But judging by the drink chocolates that we had earlier, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be amazing. And we are back here in our hotel in Ragusa. And shall we try the chocolate? Definitely. Mmm, white pepper. Pepper? Yes, white pepper. Ah, okay, I didn't... Well, <laughs> you didn't understand it. Look, vanilla. Oh, this one looks nice. Too. They have very nice packaging, very nice blending. I really like it. The lemon and the salt, salty one. Maybe we should get the salty one after walking in the sun for the whole day. Maybe we need some minerals. True. <laughs> Some granularity. Is that, is that the word? 
guys, we just came here to a really nice restaurant. Um, it's very near the main square here of Ragusa. It's called Dat Samoro. The service so far has been very friendly and we got these amazing dishes here. Look at how amazing this looks. So look, we have here some vegetables, some grilled vegetables. Here I ordered this delicious pasta. I forgot already what is inside, but it looks amazing and it smells divine. Lots of fries, because we are very hungry after walking the whole day. And Tim ordered this sort of like pork of the region here of Ragusa. It yep. looks really good as well. Yeah, right. Everything looks amazing. We got here a half of the house wine of this region. Look at how beautiful the tiles of this place are. It's all in like the same sort of like decoration of the region. It's really nice. They even brought us some mayonnaise. I think it's because I heard the Dutch accent from Tim. I feel very offended. Guys, no place in the world does food like the Italians do. The food here is always amazing, like always. They pay attention to every single detail of everything, like the sauces, the pasta, even the dough of the bread is just amazing. Good morning guys, it is our last day here in Ragusa, unfortunately because we loved this town. But it's also time to move on and go to new different places. We are here back at the Giardino that we came on the first day when we first arrived here. We're gonna get a little lunch uh, in one of the places that was highly recommended by the girl in our hotel. Uh, it's a place where they sell Arancino, which is something typical of this region. It's supposed to be right here next to the park, so let's check it out. Oh, so here we are. This place specializes only in Arancino. Oh, I can already see here that they have many different options. Okay, I'm very happy about that. So you gotta sit here outside and a good tip for you guys if you're planning to come to this region uh, Don't always trust Google Maps because Google Maps just told us that this place was uh, closed But actually the place is open until 3 o'clock and now it's only 12.30 Yes Okay, thank you Sausage? Sausage? Okay Thank you Someone came to say hello. Mm, guys, look at the feeling. It's so rich, so full of vegetables, full of deliciousness here. The sauce is amazing. Mm, and then he has mushrooms there. 